RTA Victor and his dealers present Herb Gilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kukla products and players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. What do you think, Beulah? Well, I don't know. I just can't tell. What's this going to be again? That's going, that's going to be the drapery material. You're having... You're going to have this hanging from the windows, you mean? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. This... This is going to be a... Oh, that's nice. Gracious sakes. Wish my hair were like that. What's that going to be? Well, it's going to be a tremendous swag right across the window. Swag? Across the window? Well, that ought to be nice. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think of it? It's nice for a swag. <laughs> Who's doing this? Monsieur Joseph. Oh, that's nice. Say, what, what's with him anyway? He hasn't turned out a new hat for me in weeks. Oh, he's really on another kick now, if he'd excuse the vernacular. <laughs> <laughs> and I will. I will. <laughs> well, I know. Decorating's really, I suppose, you know, larger in scope. Although some of those numbers he turned out for you were about as large <laughs> as anything you ever could do, really. Well, now let's see. Now, this is the floor cover. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Looks like a rug to me. It's the same thing, Beulah. Oh, that's nice. Well, I don't know whether I like the shade or not. What do you mean? Well, I just don't know whether I like the shade. Well, what don't you like about it? Well, I can't analyze my feelings. I either, I come in and look at a room, and I get, I get feelings. But I can't tell you exactly what's wrong with it. I don't, why do you bother with a decorator, dear? I could come in with a bucket of paint. And my sewing machine. I've got a new ruffler for the sewing machine. We can have ruffles all over the room. <laughs> well, I've turned out enough, really, to house the entire place here. Well, let's see. What else do we have? Well, there's the darker material. Can I get it? Yes. Hmm? What's that for? Well, that, w that was whether we use the darker material at the, at the window, for the window treatment, with a, with a uh, cornice, or whether we use the, the shorter curtains here without the cornice, and just the simple sort of provincial type. Oh, you're living in the provinces, huh? No, dear, no, no. Just doing in my suite of rooms, and Colonel Cracky's suite of rooms, over. Pretty nice. You're still going to use the swag. Well, I think I love swag. They're so dramatic. Yes. I always say, put a swag in a show and you'll really have drama. Well, I don't know. I really can't tell you for sure. They're going to be embroidered, too. Oh, nice. The swag? Yes. H? <laughs> what a swag. His and hers. That'll be just grand. Well, I couldn't tell you, dear, just exactly what I... What am I, you going to have a slip cover? Naturally. I thought of slip cover in some slightly different material, something in a flowered chintz or something. Oh, that's nice. Nice and feminine. Go with the French dolls you have on the bed. <laughs> you, I wonder if I should keep those. Oh, why, dear, you've had them with you for... Well, who knows how long. <laughs> I'd saw them up, though. That sawdust gets awful annoying on the floor. I just don't know. They don't seem quite with this decor. Of course, Monsieur Joseph, you know, he doesn't... He keeps saying he likes to work around things, old things that you have. But you'll just watch him. You sneak up in back of him, and he's got his hand on all the old things, ready to toss them out the window. Really, this afternoon, I had a terrible time. I had a, a coffee grinder that belonged to my mother. Oh, yes, I know those. They're nice. We had one, too. It had a glass jar on it. A little top we screwed on. No, no, dear. This is... An antique. Mine was an antique, too. Heavens, we used it in the hills for years. No, dear, no. This is, this is a little 
sort of brass one with old wood. And I had it there, you know, was using it for flowers. Flowers and coffee grinder? Well, never, never a day goes by I don't learn something new. It's grand. Well, I was thinking of making a lamp out of it, perhaps. Lamp? Well, honey, honey, you've got a cord coming down from the ceiling with an electric light bulb. Isn't that all you need? Oh, Beulah. Well, we could put a ruffle around it. Got lots of ruffle. Oh, Beulah, you're no help at all. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Well, <coughs> pardon me. Everybody's a little hoarse today. What's wrong? Don't ask me. I've been singing too much, I think. Oh, I'm so nervous. I do like this rug. Yes, that's nice. Wow, we I like that in my room. I like them thicker, though. I like to take off the shoes and run around barefoot in them. Uh, that'd be pretty good. For the kitchen? No, 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 no. What are you going to put in the kitchen? A stove. Well, as I say, never a day goes by I don't learn something new. A good piece of carpet. Be, hey, hey, you, you girl. Are you referring to me? What was it, dear? I was going to ask you now. Tell me, you're going to have what kind of crisscross curtains? Or are you going to have a cottage set? Or are you going to have um, uh, those Venetian blinds? Well, my dear, I'm not quite decided, but I'll let you know. Well, please do. I'm dying to know. <coughs> Pardon me. Francis, dear. Yes. Do you have a lozenge? No, but I have a terrible need for one, if that makes you feel any better. How are you? Well, darling, what's happened to you? I don't know. I just feel terrible. You do, my Oh, head. my head's just snapping and cracking. Snuffles, Allison. Yes, you might say that. Well, you poor dear little thing. I'm so sorry, dear. We were just working out the scheme of my new room, you know, and... I saw some old yellow cord around here a little while ago. Old yellow cord? That's antique satin, my dear. I don't think this was. It just looks like old, kind of worn-out fringe. That is antique satin fringe. Oh. What, what were you going to do with it? Swag. Swag? Perfectly beautiful swag. Who who thought of that? Dear Charles F. Well, Beulah, I don't know. Maybe that's all right, but I always thought swag was... Something that was stolen, like remember that Brinks robbery in Boston at the time? Maybe it's, it's, with... maybe it's been sold into the fringe. Who knows? They haven't found it all yet, you know. Oh. I don't want to say anything about the great Joseph, but let me tell you, he's been on a project for me for let me see how long now. I think it's six or seven months. Oh? Today he showed up with three miserable little pillows about that big. Now that's I give you my word, it's the truth. Three pillows, about like so. Oh, that's nice. Fatten, aren't they? No. Oh. What happened? I don't know. How long did you say? Seven months? Yes, I'm sure. Hey, that's a record. You think he did well on that? Yes. Yes, I tell you. You should have seen what he did for a friend of mine. Well, I got the bill this morning. The first thing was when I got the bill. Well, you need to get that first. He should do something. And so, uh, two hours later, he showed up with these three pillows. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> that's always happens. the truth. Yeah. Well, hey, I you should see the wallpaper he designed for her room. Oh? For their room. And he keeps telling me he's going to put some green growing things in the corner. Well, I don't know. Honestly, they, he's been growing them long enough to have them the size of redwoods, believe me. <laughs> well, I understand that he's, a, been, he's been working with Fletcher on that. Why don't you talk to Fletcher about that? He's much better. And by the way, he's worked this out. Wallpaper. With their initials. Her new initials. All over the wall, everywhere you look. Ook, 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 ook. Really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, sometimes it's too much for me. Oh, me too. I like the good old simple thing. I don't think you can have anything prettier than cabbage roses. <laughs> I don't either. That's why I... You know, you have something then. I like cabbages too. Well, so do I. You have know, one side roses and one side cabbages. That's the way I feel. You know something? I used to have more fun when, when the news first broke here. You know, I used to come off and I embroidered her a little bit and we sold a little bit. I asked her, I said, I got a new ruffler. I bought the new ruffler for her, doggone her. She doesn't want doesn't it. Doesn't want any ruffle. That Monsieur Joseph, before he came in and started changing her mind, you know, she, she would have gone for the ruffle. Yeah. What do well, I do with all my ruffles? Snuffle. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, I think he he's a kind of a strong masculine type. He did a room for me. Oh? 
It's about as feminine as a men's gymnasium. You should see it. That's all. Oh, is that your Hopalong Cassidy room? That's right. Oh, that's great. All the chairs are saddles. I know, that's a nice room. I'm getting so I kind of like it, though, now. Yeah, I suppose so. I feel so good when I get out of it that I just worry along with it. Every time I go in there, I feel like she put on my spurs. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought it was kind of good looking, really, dear. Well, it's, it's all right. Not comfortable, but good looking. Yeah, well. Nice to look at. Certainly. I don't see why I don't seal it up and just put a big picture window in there and have a little cord in front of it and just let people come in and look at it. We could do that. Yeah, make money, too. Maybe I will. Mm -hmm. I have to do something to pay the bill. Yes, I suppose so. Well, I am... Um, I, I'd like to. I'd like you to stay here if you don't mind for a minute, dear, because I spoke to Fletcher about those green growing things, and he said he'd talk to you. About All right, it. fine. I think he's here, Fletcher, dear. I detected the rustle of his ears. Oh, did you, mm -hmm. Fletcher? Woo -hoo. Mm. Fletcher, what are you doing, Fletcher? Woo hoo! Woo hoo yourself, Viola. Hey, your horse too. Hi. Hello. Fletcher. She said I was horse. Ha, I'm not. I'm a rabbit. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! That's a great one, Yes, isn't it? that's rich. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, uh, Francis, I've been giving your problem serious consideration. Have you? Yes, I have. And I've decided that you, I've, I've planned your, all your greens. You must, uh, as Monsieur Joseph says, greens soften up a room. Mm -hmm. They make it come to life. Yeah, I guess so. And so I have worked out something, and I have a lovely little hanging pot uh, filled with a uh, well, uh, sweet potato. A what? Sweet potato. We're going to have a sweet potato vine. Now, it has it's a little glass pot with a chain, with three chains, and it hangs mm -hmm. from a bird stand that I've repainted for you. Well, that'll be nice. It's very nice. Uh, it's a blue. Fletcher, now, I, what? Blue, the bird stand, with a little gilt. If I antiques it myself. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe his idea was to have them growing up instead of down. Well, we'll turn it upside down. I don't think he could do that. Uh, he wanted it in the corners, I understand. Uh, oh, well, I have something for that. Carrots. Sliced carrots. And have you ever tried uh, planting those little green onions? Well, yes, I tried it. I didn't care much for it. I tried it, though. Didn't like that, huh? No. How about grapefruit seeds? That's a nice, tidy little garden. Well, I don't care much about those uh, avocado seeds we tried a couple of mm -hmm. times. How did you work out? Not much luck. Mm -hmm. Well? It's got long, spindly stems and not much leaf on them. But give it a little thought, Fletcher, and whatever you decide would be nice, I'll... Well, well I've given it about as much thought as I intend to do, uh, that is... Oh, well, if you're through... For through. nothing. <laughs> I mean, I feel as long as Monsieur Joseph is, uh, you know, he gets paid for thinking now. I don't... He gets paid for thinking and bringing over samples. So I don't know why... I don't know why... Uh, I mean... Well, I, bring me some samples, and I'll <laughs> see what I can do about it. Well, I have a sliced sweet potato. Well, I I don't believe I care for that kind of sample. Too bad, too, because that lovely little bird stand, it's a lovely thing. Yes, it sounds just Blue wonderful. and gold, sort of. Mm hmm I think it will go well in your western room. I don't believe so. Mm-hmm. Well... How about some cactus? Maybe that would be the right thing. Cactus? Cactus? Why, I could speak to cactus. Say, that remind. Oh, Francis, that reminds me. Oh? Cactus, I knew something. Like, Kukla, would you mind letting... Kukla, uh, would you mind... No, let's... Joseph, Fletcher, I'm reading it right now. Uh, I know, but Patsy? may I borrow? May I borrow the new old colliers? bamboo screen, wasn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Do they really? Yeah. Oh well, that'll do it. Mm -hmm. Here we are, Francis. The new, new collier is just out. New collier. There's a wonderful story on Chicago television. In that, I want you to. Right here it is, too. And there's a uh, picture. I'm sorry, I wasn't asked to be in there. But... Top TV told by Bill Fay. Yes, indeed. Isn't that um, nice? He writes some great things, Cactus Jim, that circle. How's your nose? Oh, just terrible, sweetie. Oh, sorry. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I was that reading movie? it when it was snatched from Pretty me. Pretty Connie Russell and Betty Chapel. And Miss Zachary, what do you know? It was snatched from me, The you. Who snatched it? Oh, an urchin. Here are you. Here you are. I, I saw it. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm not an urchin. Oh, that handsome guy. Nor a horse. Pretty Garraway. Great. Well, uh, a nice story, too. That's fine, my dear, but you will let me know, please, about the carrots and the sweet potatoes. Yes, I will, dear. Gonna make a stew? I think so. I'm in one. I may as well make <laughs> a few more. Gee, this looks like a wonderful story. We've been moving again. 
Have you? Mm -hmm. Things have arrived in the studio. I, got, I came in today and I said, no, I will not have things laying around in the studio, all in cartons and everything, and it was just too much fun. Well, you want to go over and rest? I haven't been much help to you, and I'm sorry. I'd like to read this. You if go over I and may. sit down and read it. Thank please. you, dear. Linwood? Yeah. I hope you heard what I said about the things in the studio. They haven't been taken care of very well. What's that over there? Oh, maybe you'd better take a look for yourself. Now, Linwood, I wanted that clean up. I can Now, you know when, when RCA Victor sends us a, a new television receiver, we always we always put it in our office and throw the carton out. Uh, Tom and Pete, will you go in there and throw that carton out, please? Just throw it right out. I don't want it in there at all. Honestly, it's just too much for me at all. They didn't even take it out of the carton. Oh, isn't that a beauty? That's the Fairfield, I think. Yeah, the Fairfield. Got a 17-inch picture. Linwood boy. Mm-hmm. Sorry I spoke harshly to you. Would well, you? Well, it was sort of a surprise for you. Oh, it's a really wonderful affair. But would you go in and and uh, and uh, open up the case? Oh, that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cabinet. Thank goodness that's handsome. Now, will you show us a wonderful, uh, the clearest, steadiest 17-inch picture tube in a matchless furniture setting? Uh, Linwood, your hand isn't right. That's better, yeah. That's, that's nice. Oh, isn't that wonderful? That's fine. Now, um, let me see. Oh, I'm not through yet, Gami. He'd like to see it again. <laughs> I want him to, to point out the uh, station selector over there. That's right. And then, then the, uh, the where you turn it off and on, and that is the volume, too. And also it regulates the tone. Of course, it's golden throat. And then the next. Are the different uh, picture adjustments for exactly the kind of picture that you would like? And boy, you get the very finest picture in the world with RCA Victor. All right, you may come back to me now. Thank you very much. That's pretty good, Linwood. Very nice. And you know the RCA Victor Fairfield has a, well, like so many, so many of the RCA Victor television receivers. In the back, it has what we call a phono jack. It's a little, well, it's like, it's like a little hole. In the back, it's a little, little bitty place there, a little hole, where you can plug in a record changer attachment, like the RCA Victor 45. You can plug it in there, and, and when you're not watching television, you can uh, maybe like to listen to some music, and, uh, some fine records, some RCA Victor 45 records. Just plug it in there, and you can play right through that wonderful, wonderful speaker that's in your television receiver. And, of course, that also... The same, the same uh, uh, amplifying system and everything, the same speaker, so you have a, you have a wonderful uh, golden throat sound. Better try it sometime. When you're down to your RCA Victor dealers, just for fun, you, you ask Tom, you heard about the phone, Jack, you want to see where it is. And then take a look at that beautiful 17-inch picture tube. It's a fine one. Well, oh, today, I guess I forgot. Last week at this time, we had a contest. Fred, you didn't hear the contest. No, I didn't. Well, we may need you today. You, I don't, I don't want to put you to too much work. That's all right. Uh, we had a song contest in which three or four of the Kukapolitans uh, sang original songs that they had written. And uh, we asked everyone to vote because we couldn't decide which was the prize song. So we asked everyone in, in the audience to vote, to send in their vote on which song they liked the very best, and which song they liked second, which song they liked third and fourth. And we've had several requests from people who missed that show and wanted, wanted to vote, but they couldn't vote because they hadn't heard the song, so we thought we might give a little, a short recap today of those songs. And, uh, let me see what else. Oh, yes, I better get my sign. When you, when you have heard the songs and you've decided which one you, you like, best and which one you like second and which one you like third and which one you like fourth you just send us a penny postcard or letter whichever you like Cooper Fran and Ollie box 3446 Chicago 77 Illinois and we'll count it up and let you know as soon as the awards are handed out by the way they've been just wonderful the awards have 
I mean, the, the boats have been coming in just by the thousands, and it's very exciting. I can't tell exactly yet. We haven't had them counted, so I don't know who is ahead. But it looks pretty close, and it's very exciting. Now, Fran, dear. Yes? We can't go through the entire song. We're only going to be able to do a little snatch from each song. Do I know the song? Well, um, there are four songs. Madame Wolverpuss wrote one, and Ollie wrote the Oliver Twist. Oh, I know that one. Cecil sings Cecil Serenade. Oh, I love that one. And Beulah Witch sings um, Pogo Pumps. A new song? Yes, she wrote it. She just came in at the very end. She was a dark horse. What do you know? Now, friends, we can't, we can't do with each song, and we don't know just how to cut each person, because they uh, would all complain that it would cut them off in the best part of their song. Well, I suppose. So we thought we'd time it each to 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And when the 30 seconds come up, you go like that, and they have to stop no matter where they are. Well, if I could get... Could I use your stopwatch? Certainly, Frank. I'll get it. From Linwood? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't know he knew what time it was. <laughs> Did you know that I learned how to run this thing one day? That's the left-handed one. I knew it. I do, uh, you'd think I'd run it all my life. Oh, well, well, you good. could be the producer. And you can you take the little bell over there. You want to? Wonderful. All right. And 30 minutes. Thir Second. Second. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the same. I can't tell you. Mm. And first of all, Madame Ogopus and Colonel Cracky seeing a very merry gentleman. Now, hold on a minute. Now, don't, don't start till they sing, see? Okay. We won't count the accompaniment. You ready, Jack? All right. I don't think it's fair at all. Well, you didn't think it fair <coughs> last week, did you? Well, it just isn't fair. I didn't realize we are going to have to go over them again. Honestly, and I'm so hoarse. <coughs> I'm so hoarse! You watch your language, my dear. We are not married yet. A very merry gentleman that finally agreed to be the very gentleman who's going to marry me. The very things I want to hear, he'll whisper in my ear. Ophelia, my dear, whenever you're near, I'll look into your lovely eyes and find it hard to realize that I'm the merry gentleman whose wife you're gonna be. My love and my all, we heard the bell. <laughs> That's not fair. That's just the most lyrical. My dear, now we agreed. That's our song, The Very Merry Gentleman. Most people have heard it, and we just, uh, we can't go on like that. Now, let's be fair. We're all right. Next, Mr. Oliver J. Dragon. I didn't think I was going to get on the show at all today. Keep going. <laughs> I can't stop it. Can't you stop it? I stopped it. Okay. Stopped it. Oh, Mr. Dragon. My sunny disposition and my sparkling animation Result from just one exercise I do for relaxation For tightness in my muscles cannot possibly exist When I do, do, do the Oliver Twist When I do, do, do the Oliver Twist By a knack of making friends again with people I must have been to use this maneuver that time. And now, Mr. Cecil Bill seeing Cecil Serenade. No histrionic. Bill. We know the song is good. It's not that 
not the singing that we're judging, it's the song itself. And now, Miss Beulah Witch. <laughs> understand why RCA Victor is America's favorite television. When you've such magnificent console sets as this Fairfield to choose from. Traditional in design, the Fairfield is a joy to look at even when the doors are closed. It's better looking in every way. You get big, clear, steady television from the Fairfield 17-inch picture tube. Your picture is locked in place by RCA Victor's own eyewitness picture synchronizer. See the handsome Fairfield for yourself at your RCA Victor dealer, and you'll see television at its finest. RCA Victor Television. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fashionato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gomovitz, and the costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And this is Bert Colstrom thanking you on behalf of all the Kukla Pauten players in the RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in television, first in recorded music. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television. Mm -hmm.